Hello, Leo. It's my lady. Oh, Jesus. All right. So, some secrets about somebody using somebody is coming out, are coming out. Okay. What's going on? It's my lady from Lady Sweets here. And I am coming to do your weekly reading for the week of August 28th through September 9th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the books and ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for likes, share, subscribing, and setting up personal readings. If you want a personal reading from me, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, check your sun, moon, and rising signs. And let's get this show on the road. All right, Leo, Leo, Leo. What's going on with Leo? Leo love reading at 8. 28 through 9 4 2017. Leo love reading 8 28 through 9 4 2017. What's going on? What's going on? Okay, so either somebody is dropping baggage or somebody has too much baggage for you, Leo. All right, so so this could mean somebody is getting ready to leave their job or leave somebody because they're trying to overpower them or the overpowering is the the issue. Like somebody's trying to um, overpower you. They controlling. Okay, so oh yeah. Yeah, so this person, it seems like they may be trying to get you to quit your job or you could be doing this too as a, a general. So, yeah, somebody baggage is this. They like too headstrong and they just want to control everything in your life. Or you want to control everything in their life. Okay, so yeah, it's becoming a burden, you know. Every time I turn around, somebody trying to tell me what I should be doing. Like, what are you doing? Okay. Boy. All right, yeah. Wow. Okay, so. I'm going to... Okay, so it seems like what's becoming a burden the most is this person, uh, taboos. It seems like they just do stuff just to make you mad. You know? But that's just a part of this controlling thing. Like... You just don't like this person. If they got to change this much, then you really don't care for them that much. Okay. This is all about control. All right. So it seems like, um, wow. It seems like this person feels like you manipulate this person to get you to do what you want them to do. Or this person feels like you're a manipulator. Or they feel like you just be bossing them around. But it's becoming a burden to them. This headstrong thing you got. Or it could be either way around. There's a whole lot of craziness going on here. Alright. Alright, so that's the final card. No, it's not. Alright, what are these secrets about? What's going on with the Leo? What is this secret about for the Leo? Leo, 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 828, 828, 828. What's going on? 828 through 9 for 2017 love reading. What is this secret? Mm. So, it seems like uh, if you are the aggressor, you do love this person that you're trying to control or this person does love you. But I feel like since it's with the secret card, somebody is trying to act like they don't care that much because they don't want to lose that power. Come on now. Mm -mm. I feel like I just need two more cards for this secret card. What is else with this secret card for the Leo? Secret, 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 Leo, Leo, Leo. Mm okay. Wow. Okay. Uh... Okay, so it seems like you feel like if you're the aggressor, the aggressor feels like that if they show they love, then this person is going to use them and is going to drain them emotionally. So it's like, I'd rather be the predator than the prey, you know? Okay. 
All right. Yep. They think they're just going to use them and leave. That's what's going on here for a while. All right, what's going on with the Leo, Leo, Leo? Leo love reading, Leo love reading, Leo love reading. Oop, what's that? This didn't happen yet. So for some of you, it might have happened, but for the majority, the, the majority, it didn't happen yet. Okay, what's going on with the Leo for the week of 8, 28 through 9, 4, 2017, 8, 28. Yes, yeah, somebody is not waiting for something to end they 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 um they're trying to take control of the relationship oh that's this control thing so they can stop the person from leaving them mm. all right what's going on what's going on what's going on leo 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 love reading all right wow okay so those love cups are being poured out right now. Somebody is getting sick of it. Like like I said here, it's becoming a burden. It's like somebody is telling uh you you're telling the person you love them, but they don't believe it. They like actions speak louder than words. Oh, I'm sorry, but it seems like this situation just might end. Mm. I mean, but that's still the century. You can you can change the future. You can change it. Nope. I don't know what the death card usually not. So it's going to end up a whole bunch of arguing. Arguing and a lot of arguing and fighting going on, okay? Unstable family. Unstable household. So let's go with the ace of cups reverse first. Ace of cups. Ace of cups. All right, it says malice, deceit, confusion, and counterproductive change. Yeah, so that's the same thing as, well, this was reversed earlier. So it's possible that you could be dealing with a Scorpio or some kind of water sign. Mm-hmm. But could be a Capricorn. General reading, it could be anybody. All right, so... um. We got the Eight of Cups. We got a lot of cups going on here. Eight of Cups is upright. It says, it may be time to move on and start new plans. Do not let your pride stop you from making a change. So this basically saying that in the past you was thinking about, you know, changing. But you wasn't like sure if you should do it because you felt like if it wasn't in your control, then it was going to be over. Okay. So we're going to read the death card, death card, death card. This to me, I just saw somebody might have been hurt in a fight or some kind of accident. Okay, I don't, I don't want to say this, but I feel like somebody may have lost their husband or wife. I mean, just, okay, let's read the cards. All right, so we got the death card. It says, a dramatic change, the end of some current situation and death. Life begins again, the beginning of a new situation. Okay, yes. Yeah, so it's basically you're trying to start something new now. But that's just your mindset. You're just starting to be more controlling. So, I mean, this could be a new situation, but that control runs people away. I know. I've done it. All right, so we got the five of staffs. And this says, mm, people are fighting. Caution must be used. Harm may follow. Arguments may occur and continue. So that's basically coming from all this controlling stuff. And then we have the four staffs reverse. It says, wow, it says monetary and material wealth. Joy, positive improvements. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe this uh, controlling thing may work out, but just not in the situation you're in now. But I don't like this. I really feel like it's going to mess up the relationship. But that's just what the cards say. That's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a person to read, check in the description box below. Other than that, have a wonderful week.